hit the slopes to ski and snowboard. And they're very rigorous sports, and if you're not in shape, you could wind up getting hurt. So joining us this afternoon yep. is our wellness ambassador, David Pritchard, to kind of give us some ideas to get ready for the skiing season. Yeah, well, it's not all doom and gloom for people who like to be outside. Maybe this <laughs> week might be a little different, but it's the time of the year where a lot of people who haven't been skiing or snowboarding, they jump right out on the slopes. Ouch. It is cold. <laughs> they haven't prepared themselves. So skiing is an extremely dynamic sport. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, mm -hmm. there's things that you need to think of and you need to do. You can do it right in your home where you can get yourself ready and you'll enjoy it so much more. And it really comes down to really the knees, right? I mean, we hear most injuries that happen with skiing, it happens because you're moving in a direction that you're not ready for. So I'm going to show you a couple really simple movements that you can do to kind of keep your knees strong mm -hmm. and kind of get you ready to do it and you don't need to go to the gym. Okay. Okay. So the first one we're going to start with just a simple static hold, which, so what I'm trying to get everyone to do is to kind of, you know, if you stand on one leg, you'll see you're a little wobbly, right? Right. So really kind of force yourself, just like when you're skiing, you sometimes are going to have to correct yourself back to a straight line. You want to practice that. So you can practice just holding it for 30 seconds. Yeah, and you're going to feel a little wobbly. You don't have to go extremely low. Hold it. Just we hold have heels it. 30 seconds. It. We're doing this in heels. Sure. Yes. Oh, come on now. Right? <laughs> and you're driving through that heel. So a lot of people say, well, I feel it in hmm. my knee. Well, drive through that heel and stick your hips back. Okay, just stick like what you're doing. Back. You're keeping okay. your core tight. Now, to make that a little bit more dynamic, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little motion in here, okay? Oh. Back and down. In heels. Yes. In heels. <laughs> well, you'd be in your skis, Don't right? touch me. So, <laughs> Optimally, what I would love for you to do is do it in your bare feet because okay. it's going to make it even twice as hard, which is really? going to transfer over to the slopes. This is good for balance. Hold on. If in you your don't ski, bare feet, balance. okay. It's good, good for, for balance, balance anyways. Yeah. So right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this up a notch and make this a little bit more dynamic by standing on one foot. We're just going to jump to the side and try to hold that position. Back, hold that position. Back, hold that position. I can do the whole position. <laughs> so challenge. what you're doing is you're, you're taking the motion of skiing, which uh -huh. you're going to be, that inertia, that energy, and you're saying, I got to hold that position. I got to stop myself. So you want to train that body to stop itself just as well as you would do when you're hmm, skiing or I'm snowboarding. A little too short so again, here. I'm holding that position for the knees. <laughs> Okay, and one of the last movements I really like to do is a static lunge. Okay, now a static lunge is basically I'm just having somebody go down and I'm having you just hold this position just like this. Back leg bent or straight? Back leg is going to be bent, okay, and my knee is tucked back behind my toes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not leaning wow. forward, but I'm training my body to be strong. Now, how do you take this up? <laughs> so that's. <laughs> so it transfers over to the skiing, is you make this a little more dynamic where you're going down and up and you're forcing that whole body now to be engaged, okay. just like you'd be doing if you're skiing, you gotta correct yourself, mm -hmm. your knees stay strong, your hips stay strong, and overall enjoy the sport. Warm it up before you hit the slopes. Warm it up. All right, David, thank you. Got a question for our experts, email them. Ask the expert today's TMJ4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, the number 967-5253.